Hi everyone, today let's see using the time series analysis how to do a forecasting. So using the time series analysis for you to do the forecasting, actually there are two methods that you can use. So what are these two methods? One method that you have, it is additive model. Additive model. Another method that you have, it is multiplicative model. Multiplicative, multiplicative one. So under the additive model, if you want to do a forecasting, normally in your management accounting syllabus, we are considering only two elements. When you are ideally doing a forecasting, using the time series analysis, you have to consider four elements. What are the four elements that you have to consider? One is the trend, other one is the seasonal factor, other one is the cyclical factor, other one is the residual factor. So these are the four elements ideally you have to consider. But for your level, for the management accounting level, when you are doing a forecasting, you have to consider only two items, which is the trend and the seasonal factor. So here under the additive model, you have to take the trend plus the seasonal factor when you are doing a forecasting. Under the multiplicative model, when you are doing the forecasting, you have to take trend into the seasonal factor. So when it's come to this particular trend, let it be additive model, let it be multiplicative model. To calculate the trend, there are two methods that you can use. One method is y equals a plus bx. Another method is the moving average method. Moving average method. So in this particular video, we are not going to focus on the moving average method. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to do a forecasting if the seasonal factor is given. If the seasonal factor is given, to get the trend using y equals a plus bx and how to do the forecasting. So let's get that learning from this particular question. Here I have given you a question. Trend is calculated as y equals 5000 plus 20x. 2007 quarter 1 is n1 period number 1. So here this is a question that you have to use the additive model. So let me write under the additive model how to do the forecasting. I told you t plus s. So here for the t they have given what is the y equals a plus bx value is. It is 5000. 5000 plus 20x. Now here for me to get the trend value, the problem is I don't know the value for the x. But they have given some indication about the period. 2007 quarter 1 is the period number 1. So normally here what we are assuming, your trend is changing based on the period. Then here quarter 2 will be the period number 2. Quarter 3 will be the period number 3. Quarter 4 will be the period number 4. They are asking us to do the forecast in 2008 quarter 3. So let's get it for the 2008 as well. 2008 quarter 1 is the period number 5. Quarter 2 is the period number 6. Quarter 3 is the period number 7. Quarter 4 is the period number 8. So 2008 quarter 3. 2008 quarter 3. What is the period number that you have? It is 7. So for the x you have to take 7 because here what we are assuming again I am telling the trend is changing based on the period. So here what's the value that you are getting? 5000 plus 20 into 7. 5140. 5140. So what's the seasonal factor? What's the seasonal factor? In this question they have given for the third quarter. Now we are doing the forecasting for the third quarter. So if you are doing the forecasting for the third quarter, you need the seasonal factor for the third quarter. If you are doing the forecasting for the second quarter, you need the seasonal factor for the second quarter. Here they have given the seasonal factor for the third quarter, which is plus 500, plus 500. So what is the meaning of this plus 500? Because of the season, your sales are increasing by 500. So if it is minus 500, what does that mean? Because of the season, your sales are decreasing by 500. Normally due to the season, your sales can increase, your sales can decrease. So let's take an example. If you take something like you are selling sunglasses. If you are selling sunglasses, during the winter season, your sunglass sales will come down. Because of the season, the sales will come down. So if you are into selling clothes or these garments, normally when it's come to the month of December, your sales will increase because that's the Christmas season, New Year season, people will buy new clothes. So here see, in the month of December, what's happening? Because of the season, your sales are going up. It is not as for the normal growth pattern, underlying trend. There will be a little bit upward movement because of what? Because of the season. That's why when we are doing a forecasting, we have to consider the seasonal effect as well. So here what they are telling normally for the third quarter, because of the season, there is an increase of the sales of how much? 500. So here what's the forecasted value? 5,640. So this 5,640 is the forecasted, forecasted value for the year 2008 quarter 3. So for you all to get a better understanding, let's do another question. So in this question, what I have given, trend is calculated as y equals 65 plus 70, where t is the quarter, the starting first in the first quarter of 2005, the seasonal component of the fourth quarter, they have given minus 40. So you know, again, t plus s will give you the forecasted value. To get the t, they have given the value, which is 65 plus 70. I don't know the seasonal value, just keep it as it is, but let's get the value for the trend first. Now here, Again, for me to get the value for T, they have given some information. Here, 2005, first quarter is T1, period 1. So, 2005, quarter 1 is the period number 1. Quarter 2 is the period number 2. Quarter 3 is the period number 4. They are asking us to do the forecasting 2006, fourth quarter. So, period number 3, fourth quarter, period number 4. Here, 2006, quarter 1, 
period number 5, quarter 2, period number 6, quarter 3, period number 7, quarter 4, period number 8. We need 2006, fourth quarter. 2006, fourth quarter, what's the period number? It is 8. So, 65 plus 7 into 8, then here, 7 into 8 plus 65, I'm getting a value of 121. But here, see, due to the season for the fourth quarter, what's happening? Your sales are decreasing. Your sales are decreasing by 30. Then here, 121 minus 30. What's the value that I'm getting? 91. So, what is this 91? Forecasted, forecasted value for the year, for the year 2006, quarter 4. So this is how you can do a forecasting using the attitude model. I hope you got a clear understanding. I have done a comprehensive video series for the subject management accounting in ACCA. You can purchase this course through the link available in the description. In this particular video series, I have covered the entire syllabus and I have practiced certain questions and I have given you certain tips to pass the exam in one go.